Hello, I'm Ed Kenyon, the Director of New Construction Programs at Bath Ironworks. And welcome to the start of fabrication celebration for DDG 130, the William Charette, BIW's Hall 526. DDG 130 will be the 43rd Arleigh Burke class destroyer built in Bath, the second of the Flight 3 configuration, and the first with a series of weapon system upgrades that will ensure this class of ships maintains its technological advantage. Our nation is engaged in a great power competition, and the Navy needs the capability of this ship and all ships under construction in Bath in the fleet. Our job is to accelerate the rate of production and deliver two ships per year without compromising on safety or sacrificing the quality associated with a bath-built ship. Working together, we must deliver our products on time and every time. So as we start construction of DDG-130 today, it's an opportunity to reaffirm our commitment that bath-built means best-built at all stages of construction. I'd like to introduce the Navy's DDG-51 Program Manager, Captain Seth Miller. Good morning. I'd like to welcome all our distinguished guests and representatives from Bath Ironworks and the Navy shipbuilding community, as well as the ship sponsors, Margaret Henderson, Laura Bennett, Katie Donovan, and their brother, Mike Charette. I am Captain Seth Miller, Program Manager for the DDG-51 Shipbuilding Program, and I'm honored to represent Rear Admiral Tom Anderson, PEO Ships, and the women and men of the DDG-51 Shipbuilding Program Office. While I wish I could be there in person, I am truly excited to be a part of the Start of Fabrication Ceremony. Today's Start of Fabrication Ceremony is a significant milestone for the future of William Charette DDG-130. I believe that a shipyard and its craftsmen draw strength and inspiration from the ships they build. With Master Chief Hospital Corpsman William Charette as a namesake, DDG-130 will be a reminder of the courage and leadership of the very best the Navy Marine Corps team has to offer. The ship will be the 80th in the DDG-51 class going all the way back to the USS Arleigh Burke, which was built right here in Maine by Bath Iron Works and delivered to the Navy in 1991. DDG-130 will be a Flight 3 ship incorporating critical upgrades that will allow the Navy to keep pace with an increasingly complex threat environment and meet the future challenges of our great nation. I'd like to take a moment to speak about Master Chief Charette's service to better illustrate his legacy and why the Secretary of the Navy chose to name the ship in his honor. Charette enlisted in the Navy in 1951 and the following year volunteered to serve with a Marine Reserve Unit. In January of 1953, he deployed to Korea as a hospital corpsman third class with F Company, 2nd Battalion. Two months later, Charette's unit was guarding three outposts near Panmunjom where they were attacked by Chinese soldiers fighting for North Korea. Despite overwhelming small arms and mortar fire, Charette braved the enemy onslaught to render aid to his wounded comrades. When a grenade landed near one Marine under his care, Charette shielded the wounded man with his body to absorb the blast, which blew off Charette's helmet and medical kit, injuring his face and caused him to lose consciousness. When he came to, Charette disregarded his injuries and began using his clothing as bandage for the injured men around him. Another injured Marine had lost his armor vest in an explosion, so Charette selflessly removed his own vest and put it on him. I'll pause there for a moment to let that sink in. Hospital Corpsman Charette literally gave the only armor he had and, and the shirt off his back so that others might live. Charette's unit eventually found safety in a nearby trench where, in another act of bravery, Charette exposed himself to enemy fire to move a wounded Marine and four other men to the safety of an aid station. For Charette's actions that day, President Eisenhower bestowed the Medal of Honor on January 12, 1954. He was one of five enlisted Navy hospital corpsmen to receive the medal for actions taken in Korea and the only living recipient. Charette continued to faithfully serve his country and retired as a Master Chief Hospital Corpsman in 1977 after 26 years of dedicated service. Despite his renowned acts of gallantry, he was a humble man who deeply loved the Navy and was proud to serve his country. Master Chief Charette passed away in 2012 at the age of 79. In addition to his successful Navy career, Charette was a proud husband and father of four. His three daughters, Margaret Henderson, Laura Bennett, and Katie Donovan are the ship sponsors for DDG-130. 
To the sponsors and their brother, Mike Charette, the nation is forever indebted to your father for his service and his courage. The nation faced difficult times when William Shrett joined the Navy and we're facing challenging times now. It is our job to meet them and rise above them to deliver this ship as quickly as we can. To the men and women of Bath Ironworks, the Navy and the nation have entrusted you with building this ship quickly and well. We need your experience and we need your innovation. The future of William Shrett will sail the seas, defending freedom and protecting America and its allies for decades to come. Like Master Chief Charette, she will symbolize the best of our great nation, strong and compassionate, swift and dependable, brave and humble. While it's not the same as being there in person, I am grateful for the opportunity to be a part of this significant achievement. Have a wonderful day. The leadership at Structural Fabrication has invited Sandy Haley and Randy Bertrand to push the button on the burning machine. Sandy is a master shipbuilder with 40 years of service at BIW many of those years working as a planner in the park cunning lanes at Structural Fabrication. Randy started at BIW in 1988 and has worked many of his years as a ship fitter in the park cutting lanes. Sandy and Randy will officially start the construction of DDG 130, the William Charette. Thank you for what you do every day to ensure that bath-built ships are the best-built ships in the world.